Hey guys, it's Garrett Stewart with Command Consult, and I'm here to show you if you are utilizing the website HomeBot, if you are a subscriber to this uh, and utilizing it in your business, I wanted to show you how you can add this landing page onto your Keller Williams website. Uh, so as you can see, I'm on my uh, website here, and uh, I've created a place right there on the website where people can go ahead and get their home value uh, request right in there and, and get that full report, as you know, uh, as part of HomeBot. So how can you get this? We're going to build this out on the website right now. Uh, and also at the end, I'm going to show you how you can get your own template uh, email to send out to your database to be able to do that as well and get more uh, traction of people entering their info on here too. So let's get started. So of course, we're going to start writing command. We're going to go down to this consumer applet right here, and that's going to be where we go to uh, build out that page on our website. So we are on consumer, and we're going to go ahead and hit create a new page. Now, of course, you have to make sure your website has already been uh, created. It has. Uh, I already have my website created. So we'll go ahead, and we get it on my agent site right there, and we'll hit create page. Now here comes a couple of parts. My tip is, uh, so you have to have a widget uh, within um, on these pages to be able to uh, post it. So even though we're going to be utilizing a text content block, we do have to have one of these widgets on here. So these can be whichever one you want. Uh, it doesn't matter if you wanted to have people download your app, then that's great. You can just download app right there and it's all set, ready to go. Uh, but what you'll need next is under that content blocks, you're going to need that text block and drop that right in here. Now we're going to utilize uh, in HomeBot, we've got to utilize uh, in here, the uh, under the share tab up here, there is a share on your page uh, that you can utilize. I recommend, recommend using this option versus embed a widget. We are gonna be doing some embedding and there is some code, but it is a very simple widget that they put on there. It's very small. It's not really a landing page per se. Uh, it's more of just, hey, here's a spot to enter your address to get more info, and that's about it. So uh, we're gonna utilize the share your page option. Now, what I'm gonna show you, we'll do the uh, homeowner leads one here, but you can do the same exact thing for the buyer site as well. So uh, if you wanna do one for each, you can absolutely do that. You'll just uh, do the same process again uh, uh, after you do the seller one. So we're gonna utilize that one here. Now, in order to get the right code, because all this is, is a link to the website. And so uh, basically I copied that code and if you paste it right up here, that, that website, it's gonna take me right here. That's all it is. Uh, and uh, it's completely branded and stuff. So I wanna put this on my website. And as you can see, I had already done that once before and this is how it's gonna play out. We're putting that website onto here. So I need the code to be able to do that. So uh, on my website, commandconsult.com, uh, that is commandconsult.com, you can go over here to the more and hit resources. On there, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna say code for sites and landing pages. Um, so we're gonna click that there. There's a teaser, we're gonna to get to the email template in a bit, but uh, for now we'll hit code for sites and landing pages. That's going to bring up a code right here that you're going to need. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and copy that code. So we'll copy it and we are going to paste it right there. Now the next part is we are going to go back to HomeBot and we're gonna have that, make sure that code is copied again. Uh, I had already copied it before, but we copied something else. We'll make sure that's copied and we'll go back in here and we're gonna, as you can see your website here, we're gonna highlight that and we're gonna paste that code right in there. So that's my HomeBot code. So now that we've got that entered in, if I click away, it should boop, right there, pop right in. So we'll go ahead and we'll just type in HomeBot seller. That's just for our reference for title so we have our website organized. We are done. If you choose any other widgets down here, um, you might have to configure it to put the right info on there. So just know that. Uh, if you're utilizing something like the uh, agent profile, you'd have to put a couple little things just to make sure it's all good. So once all's good, 
go ahead, hit save changes, and go through that process. You'll hit yes, uh, and that's gonna take you to the part to add it to the website. So from there, we'll go ahead and hit add page. Down here, we scroll down. These are all the pages on our website, and we can hit add page. Uh, and there is the home bot seller that we just created. We'll click that, and we'll hit confirm. That's why it's important to put a title that you uh, recognize, and we'll hit continue. From there, we'll go ahead and we'll just name it whatever we want. We could say seller reports or get home value, whatever you want. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and just say a seller report. And what that means is just so when people type in that website, that's that'll take it there too, is my website that slash uh, seller uh, slash report or hyphen report. We could put a little bit of SEO description on there. Get your Reno, Nevada um, seller report here. This will just do a little preview uh, uh, if someone does find this on Google. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit save and we are all set. So now on our website, before we had just it stopped at HomeBot right there. And now if I refresh it, Oops, hit that refresh button again. Okay, uh, now there it is, seller reports. So click on it and there it is right there. Uh, so you are able to uh, add that to your website just like that and someone can just enter in their address right there and as soon as they start typing in it, it's gonna start searching for it uh, to do it and then uh, go through that full process of what HomeBot has capable. So maybe you want to be able to send this to someone in your database. Uh, so be able to start driving people to here and if you have their email. Uh, for me, I'm going to be utilizing this feature uh, to or drive people here that maybe came through Facebook ads or my sphere or whatever. Uh, and so in order to do that, uh, we want to get some email templates available. Uh, so I, I had hinted back on my command console website, I had HomeBot email template there. We're gonna click there and there's actually two templates available. There is one for sellers and one for buyers. So uh, we'll go ahead and since we have that seller one all taken care of, we can go ahead and hit that button there. That's going to open up that drive to download it. This looks funky at first, don't freak out. We're just, uh, this is just the, the code uh, for that file, it's all HTML. We'll hit that download button in that top right hand corner and as you can see here in Google Chrome, it pops up here at the bottom. Uh, so now we're going to add this to our HTML templates. From there, we'll go ahead and we'll go to designs. Uh, from designs, we'll go ahead and hit import, or sorry, don't hit import design. I know it's tempting to do that, and I, I do that myself sometimes. For, e the, for email designs, you're gonna hit create design and hit email. It's gonna give us an opportunity to import email shortly. We'll hit continue, and now there's an import HTML option. From there, you can see you can either paste code or import file. So we'll hit import file and sure enough, this is our opportunity. So since it's in Chrome in here, I can drag and drop or I can click here and search for it on my computer if it downloaded elsewhere. So there we go, we've got it and we'll hit import. From there, it's going to all drop in here and it gives me the opportunity to see everything on here. And you can see it pretty much matches what they're going to see on there with just a little message at the top. Now this, message at the top is completely customizable to you. So if you want to change this message, uh, if we we could preview it and you can see that uh, there's it will automatically fill with your name and whichever contact you fill in. So if we just had uh, Adam, there you go, it would send to Adam. Uh, so if you don't like the way that's worded, you wanna change it, absolutely. You can just select that text box and hit that pencil button to change it. Everything else is set in there though. But here is a few things you need to do to be able to make sure it forwards to your website. Because at this point, if they click on it, it's actually going to forward to my site. I don't want uh, to take your business, especially because I'm likely not in your market. I serve the Reno, Nevada, and Northern Nevada, Tahoe area. So uh, please uh, <laughs> make sure you do that so I, I, I'm not getting your leads. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit image. And we're gonna go ahead and hit that edit button. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit link to. 
and we're going to do website. And that is, you know, we created that landing page on our website. So from there, we are going to do the seller report. And uh, you can see how we had created that up there. So we're going to copy that website. Now, you can just send them directly to that uh, website directly from HomeBot if you want to um, as just a standard landing page. But it's not going to be embedded on your site. So uh, I kind of want to send it to them um, uh, through my website. So uh, as you saw, uh, whoops, actually we'll go back here. We're going to co copy that uh, right there. And then we'll just go right in here on that email we were building out at web address and we'll paste that right there. So essentially as soon as they enter in their information and, um, or once they click on that, it's going to send them directly to that page we had just created together. Uh, so once you're hit done we'll hit, or we'll hit done there and it should work. You can do that for any other portion on here. Um, I would recommend doing it for um, you know this portion as well. We'll hit that little pencil button and we'll hit web address and boom, done. You could utilize it for any other things uh, on here. If you wanted, if they clicked on something else in there or uh, I believe, I'll, or no, I can't do it on the table cell. Um, uh, so any of these images, you can actually uh, do that for that web address right there um, and, and save that. So if they click on something on there, it will take them to it. Uh, and so same thing right here. We could hit that little pencil button. It's a couple little tasks you're gonna have to do that first time. Uh, but where this is a one-time thing and once you have it saved, you are set. Uh, everything else in here is uh, all good. Uh, so you should be set in there. You can hit that again, hit that little preview button, make sure it works properly. And uh, it should automatically fill in your KW information at the bottom here. Looks great, I'm happy with it. We'll hit X. And uh, my suggestion is hit that little option button and hit send test email. Once you hit that send test email, uh, you're gonna have the opportunity to type in whichever email address you wanna send it to. Go ahead and click those links that you said to forward. Make sure they're working properly. And then that way you're gonna know ahead of time that they, uh, <laughs> When your clients are clicking on them, they, they are going to the right site and not my site. I don't want uh, to take your business again. So uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, as soon as that is in there, uh, you're going to be set. Uh, so once you're all good, we'll just title this. Uh, I'll just say Homebot Seller uh, right there. We'll hit save. And we're all set. Uh, Save changes. Perfect. Cool. Um, so from there, there's a couple options you can do. You can create a one-step smart plan if you want to, um, to do that. Or if you want to blast this out uh, to your database uh, and do it as a campaigns, you can do that as well. I'll walk you really quickly through that campaigns sending uh, just so you have that knowledge right there. Campaigns. You're going to create a campaign uh, right there. Hit email, type in seller homebot or whatever you'd like just for your tracking. And we'll just say we are trying to uh, attract listings, right? Uh, we have command email, we'll hit create campaign. And then we can uh, choose a recipient list. If we haven't created a list, you could create a list there. Um, maybe I already have a list created. I might maybe set it to my newsletter clients if that was the case. Um, you know, and then we put a eye-catching subject line. So, you know, get your home value today or curious about your home value or whatever. Whatever you want to do to catch your uh, catch the eye of your sellers, that's going to be the first thing they see and more likely for them to click on it or check out what your home value did. That might actually be a, a better one. I like that. Check out what your home value did. Um, okay, and then we'll hit select design, and then there we go, HomeBot Sellers. We'll click on that to give us the opportunity, one last chance to make any additional edits to it. I'm, you can add other widgets and stuff in here um, if you want to. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm happy with it. We'll hit save and exit. And since all looks good, gives us one last little preview of it. Awesome. I'm happy with it. We'll go ahead and hit 
uh, schedule or send, uh, and it's going to send out to those specific people. Uh, so I hope you guys like this. If you uh, want to check that out, again, it's on my website, commandconsult.com. I am a real estate agent here in Reno, Nevada. It's happy to take your referrals. Uh, and any other content I do produce for ag agents here, you can click on videos up here to see all of my other command training. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.